This might be the most requested video on my channel. Since I started YouTube mere months ago, I've had countless comments on videos and streams asking which mods I use. So today I'll be going over my entire mod folder and my favorite features from each mod. I normally play pretty casually, but with the mods I use, there's features that'll help you through every part of the game. I haven't really changed my mod folder since I started playing two years ago. But on the topic of years, I'm going for 100,000 subscribers before this one comes to an end. And since we'll be speeding past 30k pretty soon, if you want to be part of the pre-YouTube rank gang, claim your ticket today by subscribing. I also thought it would be kind of fun to make this video whilst playing some Bed Wars, so let's get started. Links to most of these will be in the description, but please double check everything before you download a mod. If you join a server that asks for any personal information like your email, it's definitely a rat. Ratting is a big problem in Skyblock, so please stay safe. Firstly, I have Dalkir mod. Made by the player Dalkir, it has a bunch of cool quality of life features, but my favourite has got to be making your held items really safe small. You can also make them slower, or faster, or even upside down. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next is one you've most likely heard of before, not enough updates. My most used NEU feature is definitely my NEU buttons. With slash NEU buttons, you can open up a GUI to add clickable buttons around your inventory. For example, I have mine set to stuff like slash e chest, slash pets, and other common commands. At this point, I'm so used to having them, I start having withdrawals when I remove them to record a video. NEU has a bunch of other great features, so I don't know why you wouldn't have it. Now this one is the most recent one I've installed, recommended to me a few weeks ago by the lovely fellas from the Elite Farmers Discord server, which unfortunately recently got falsely terminated. So if you were in there before, or you just want to join the top farming community, their new vanity link is discord.gg forward slash farms, or the link will be in the description. So the mod they told me about is called Sky Hanny. Created by a player called Hannibal, it has a lot of features, but the ones I use the most are definitely ones for the garden. There's still a lot in this subcategory, but but the ones that show visitor price and items needed are really useful, because I don't want to accidentally be paying 41,000 coins per copper when copper is only worth 8k per. The compost to upgrade cost is also really useful, so I can upgrade the cheapest ones first. And as much as I'd like to go through all the features this mod has, I don't think I would have even finished scripting this by next week if I did that. So onto the next mod. I do have Skyblock Extras, but it's the only mod that's paid on this list, costing $5 for permanent access, but I can't say I really use that many, if any of their features, mainly because a lot of them seem to be broken for me despite multiple reinstallations, and a lot of features appear in the next mod, that being Skytills. Skytills has shit tons of features, from dungeons to Kudra to pets to slayers. Similar to Skyhanny, I can't go through everything, but the one part I use a lot is their container cell value mod. Pretty much if you open any chest, the chest or backpack, it'll give you a combined estimated valuation of everything inside. I often use it to go through chests I previously dumped stuff in to find anything valuable. Anywho, the next mod is actually created by my co-op Thomas, and a lot of you may have seen my previous videos on it. ITEM is essentially an all items database, so with the mod you can do stuff like accurately dupe check your items. If you want to see a bit more about that, you can go to this video here, where I go into a bit more detail. Now the simplest mod I use is called Scrollable Tooltips, made by Skya. It just allows you to scroll down and see the whole lore of an item, because a lot of the time Skyblock items have a whole lot of lore. Now one mod I need to mention is Patcher, once again created by Skya. It just helps you run the game better. You can toggle a lot of things to increase performance, which is incredible for someone like me who runs a museum with thousands of item frames. Now Skyblock Addons is also something I use, and the Don't Reset Cursor Between Inventories mod is an absolute godsend, doing exactly what it says it does, making navigating your e-chest and backpacks so much easier. And on the topic of making things easier, the player Boo 32 can't go unnoticed. His mod v 2 has been making waves in the Skyblock community, so much so that Bad Lion actually hired him. I've been using Soupy V2 for quite some time now, and recently I've been doing some nucleus runs, and Soupy has a feature that pretty much automatically adds a waypoint whenever someone finds a crystal hollow structure. So if you go to a lobby and another Soupy user's already found everything you need, you don't need to faff around asking for coordinates and adding waypoints, they're just already there. I really love how smart that is, and now Soupy's working for BLC. He said in his server that most features will be implemented into Bad Lion, so I'm excited to see what that brings. 